so this will be the third and final video on how to put your Nexus 7 into your car dash. As you can see, I've now placed the Nexus in the car and it looks pretty stock and the color matched up pretty well. So when I turn the ignition on, the Nexus, Nexus should start up automatically. And as you can see, it turns on pretty quick. This is because the Nexus it is in a deep sleep mode, which means it doesn't use a lot of battery, and also makes up for a quick start. Here you can see I'm running Spotify. You can also see I got all, a lot of other programs. The ROM that I'm using is called XD Auto. It's a little bit too heavy for the Nexus 2012, but it works pretty pretty well. And some of the features is just what you saw. The it wakes up and goes into deep sleep when I turn it off. Like so. Now it takes a little bit of time, but it should roll a video. So you can also hear that it actually played through the radio instead of the Nexus itself. If I turn it on again, it comes right back on. Now, what I've experienced since I'm using Bluetooth to connect through my stereo, but it should work straight away. A little bit of delay, but still works. And this is what I've made. I customized it the way I liked it. So I do have a manual button right here for dimming the display using Tasker. It's because the sensor is behind here somewhere. So that was the easiest way to turn the brightness on and off. I also have just a quick setting to Spotify. Here we can see it a little bit better. It might be a little bit too bright because the camera can really pick it up. But here you can see the line a little bit better. Here you can see the crude but efficient way to connect your Nexus to your stereo. I did something that's called ghosting. So that what you're seeing is just actually the faceplate and the stereo itself is behind the Nexus. What I did is I just soldered some wires for extension and it worked out pretty well. Uh, this might not be a good idea to solder on directly but that was the easiest so that's that's what I did. I've also added some buttons down here. On the left side I got volume control and on the right side I got subwoofer control. And the volume is connected to the stereo itself. So if I play some music, I can control it down here. So this was the final video on how to plug in your Nexus 7 into your dash. I also want to add that this process took a lot of time and if I would do it again I would have chosen the Nexus 2013 or another Android tablet. Um, I would also recommend if you got the opportunity to use the 3.5 millimeter output plug because I had some problems with it connecting to the stereo and whatnot and that would be might have been an easier way. I also want to say the reason being why I chose these the Sony head unit is because it got an app. So if I push down the button, the volume button, you can hear the clicking and the app actually starts and here I control both the tuner, the CD, USB and RX. Of course the CD player is behind the Nexus so it's kind of worthless. But I also have a USB output that I can use to play music and charge my phone. So I can for instance go into tuner. And probably got a bad reception in here. But... So ironically I played the same song but I can go into Spotify 
and I can continue playing whatever. And here you can see the app remote, and we're back. And that's how to install your Nexus 7 into your dash. So here you can see I removed everything, and if I remove the Nexus, you can see the Sony player, the wire going, going to the faceplate, which is which is right there. It might be hard to see, but it's right there. And this is the solution that I made since I did not have enough space to put the Nexus and the player behind it. But if you do, I would strongly recommend you you make some sort of system. If not, ghosting is a good way. Um, I just made this cable, but I know that there are some places that actually sells them. Uh, just use Google and you'll find your answers. And that's the way that I did it. And I just have power for the Nexus going here and going down to the cigarette lighter. And that is connected actually to the to the key switch. So when you turn on the key, it will give power to Nexus, or it will turn it on.